Hello and welcome back to this class of numerical analysis. In today's class, we are going to study how we can solve some important questions that are based on operators. So let's get started with the first question. Here we need to show that that a forward difference operator delta can be expressed in the form of our central difference operator delta. Let us see how we are going to solve it. Starting with the right hand side, we know that this value under root 1 plus delta square upon 4 is equal to mu that is our average operator. We have proved this result in our previous class. So here we are going to write this is equal to delta square upon 2 plus delta into mu. Now next step is we have to convert these operators in terms of shift operator. How we can do that? As we have this relation delta is equal to e raised to power 1 upon 2 minus e raised to power minus 1 upon 2. Similarly, we have the relation for mu as well that is the, our average operator is equal to 1 upon 2 e raised to power 1 by 2 plus e raised to power minus 1 upon 2. Now we are going to substitute all these values in our relation. Delta square upon 2 can be written as e raised to power 1 upon 2 minus e raised to power minus 1 upon 2 whole square upon 2 plus delta into mu. Now at this step we need to notice that this term delta into mu is expressed in two ways. The first way is first we can either write the values of delta and mu in terms of shift operator and multiply them and the other method is we know that there is a relation between these two as mu into delta is equal to 1 upon 2 times of forward difference operator plus backward difference operator. So we can solve it both ways. Let us try to solve it in the first form that is converting it into shift operator form. This gives the value of delta mu equals e raised to power 1 by 2 minus e raised to power minus 1 by 2 into e raised to power 1 by 2 plus e raised to power minus 1 upon 2 upon 2. Now there isn't much left in here to do. We will take this term common and what remains inside is e raised to power 1 upon 2 minus e raised to power minus 1 upon 2 plus e 1 by 2 plus e minus 1 upon 2. So this term and this term they get cancelled. Here we get this value, the 2 gets cancelled and then what we need to do here is open up the bracket and multiply the terms. This gives the value e minus 1. Now what is this value equal to? This is the expression for our forward difference operator delta. So this is how we have proved our expression. In this second question we need to show that delta square upon e of x cube is equal to 6x if h which is the interval of difference is equal to 1 here. Now the value of function fx here is x cube. Let us start with the left hand side only delta square upon e of fx and what is fx here? x cube. So first we, what we are going to do is we shall just simplify this function, this operator. So we can write delta as e minus 1. Yeah, because we have this relation e is equal to 1 plus delta. So delta can be written as e minus 1 and this is whole square into x cube. This can be further simplified in this form. e minus 1 whole square can be written as e square minus 2e plus 1 upon e and this is x cube. Now this on further simplification gives the value e minus 2 plus 1 upon e that is e inverse. Now it's very simple what you have to do is just open up the brackets and write the expression. So this is going to be equal to e x cube minus 2 x cube plus e inverse x cube. So the value for e x cube is x plus h cube minus 2 x cube as it is plus this value will be x minus h whole cube. Now opening up the brackets and taking the cube of these values x plus h cube can be written in this form minus 2x cube plus x minus h whole cube can be written in this form. 
Now we can see some of the terms are getting cancelled like h cube and minus h cube they get cancelled. The other term is 3x square h and 3 plus 3x square h as well as x cube plus we have 1x cube here. The other one is here and this is 2x cube minus 2x cube. So all the terms of x cube also get cancelled. So we are left with only two terms of 3x h square. So this is equal to 6x h square. Now we were given in this question that we have to prove this expression if the value of h is equal to 1. So this value becomes 6x and this is what we had to prove here. Moving on to a third question. Here we need to show that the square of nabla and delta that is a backward difference operator and forward difference operator when applied on a function x square plus x gives the value 8 where the value of h is equal to 1. Now this question looks bit lengthy but actually it's very simple. We just have to rope in our concept of relation between operators that we have studied in the previous class. We are going to start with the right hand side here and we have written fx here and what is this value of fx? fx is equal to x square plus x. We have written this value as fx here so that you get the clear picture of what is being done with these operators. Let us write them as now we have one way either we can square these two operators and then operate our function fx and the other way and the smarter one is to convert these operators in terms of shift operator. So what is nabla equal to? In terms of shift operator this value is equal to 1 minus e inverse and what is delta equal to this value is e minus 1 whole square fx. So this term 1 get cancelled here and what remains is e minus e inverse whole square fx. Now we are just going to square these two terms this gives the value e square plus e raised to power minus 2 minus 2 times of e into e inverse that is 1 itself and now we are going to write the value of fx. Instead of fx we write here x square plus x and open up the brackets and apply these operators to this function we get e square x square plus e square x plus e raised to power minus 2 x square plus e raised to power minus 2 of x minus 2x square minus 2x. Now applying the shift operator what is this value equal to? e raised to power 1 of fx is equal to f x plus h and what is this value? e raised to power minus 1 of fx is equal to f x minus h. Using this expression when we apply a shift operator to these values of x we get this expression. Next what we are going to do is we shall open up the brackets. So we get this value as x square plus 4x square plus 4xh plus x plus 2h plus x square minus 4xh plus 4h square plus x minus 2h minus 2x square minus 2x. Now there are some terms that are getting cancelled here 4xh and minus 4xh. Then there is minus 2h and plus 2h. Then we have this value minus 2x square will be cancelled with plus 2x square also x and x here will be cancelled with minus 2x. So what we are left with is 4h square plus 4h square that gives the value of 8h square. Now initially we were given the condition that the value of h is equal to 1. So this value becomes equal to 8. Moving on to our next question. We have to prove that delta log fx is equal to log of 1 plus delta fx upon fx. Let's start with the left hand side only. This is written as delta log fx. What is this value equal to? When we apply a forward difference operator to a function, the value becomes log fx plus h minus log of fx. 
and what is this value equal to? This is equal to log f x plus h upon f x. Yes. Next, this can be written as f x plus h can be written in terms of shift operator as e f x because what is this value equal to? E f x is equal to f x plus h upon f x. Now we know that e can be expressed in terms of forward difference operator as e is equal to 1 plus delta. So this can be written as log 1 plus delta and the function fx whole divided by fx. Opening up the brackets, this is equal to log fx plus delta fx whole divided by the value fx. This is equal to log of fx divided by fx. This is 1 plus delta fx divided by fx. And this is what we had to prove. So it is very simple. What we did here is started with the left hand side. The function was delta log fx. What we did here is we applied our forward difference operator to the function. This gives us the value in terms of log fx plus h minus log fx which can be further written in this form. Then what we did next is we converted this value of f x plus h in terms of shift operator which can be expressed in terms of forward difference operator. So we have written that value applying this operator to our function and simplifying it further we get the value as log 1 plus delta fx upon fx. These type of questions are very frequently asked in examinations. In the next class, we are going to cover some more important examples. So this was all for today's lecture. See you in next class.